Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. We are back once again in my garage with my Nissan 370Z. And um, basically today's video is going to be about how my paint is pretty much ruined. So yeah, basically um, I've been taking this car through the automatic washes and also doing the manual car washes where you spray it yourself. I've been doing that for a while now. And I had noticed up until about a week ago that there's actually water spots that are in my paint that are etched into my paint and everything I've done has not removed them. So basically I've got a bright flashlight right here and I'm going to show you on the paint exactly what I'm talking about. Now I may not need to use this but I'm going to go around the car and kind of show you what I mean and hopefully you guys can see it without it but I have it here if I need it. Um, but basically I've tried to uh, first use detailing spray and microfiber towel and try to wipe it away. That didn't do anything. I tried a clay bar. That did nothing as well. So clay barring and normal detail spray did not fix the issue. Um, so let me show you exactly what I'm referring to here. It's more so on the roof and the upper part of the hood here. See if I can find some spots for you here. Try to put my finger on them. So right about here. You see right there. See these spots right here? So right where the light's hitting right there. Also the clay bar actually left scratches in my paint. Which you might be able to see right about here. So these scratches right here. Even though I sprayed detail spray on it, on the car, and it was well lubricated, it still scratched my paint. So, I'm not too thrilled about that. But the spots that are pretty bad are on the hood part right there. Right around that area right there. And then also on the roof, there are some spots. It'll be kind of hard to tell because it is kind of dusty in here. But also, there's spots all in the windows that I'm sure are going to be a pain getting out. These right here I should be able to remove, at least for the most part, but it still sucks. You know, um, I wanted this car to be in good paint condition. Obviously, that is no longer possible. The only other option would be to get the car, I think, polished is what they would have to do. And I honestly don't want to spend money on that. Um, this car, the paintwork isn't too bad. I mean, I've got chips in the paint in various areas. I've got a scrape down here. So it's not perfect by any means, but eventually I want to wrap the car. I'm not sure what color, but I do want to wrap it at some point. So basically that is what's going on with the car right now. Um, you can't really tell on those water spots unless you get up real close. So it's not like, you know, the average person will be able to tell. Um, but for me, I can tell that they're there and it does kind of bug me a little bit. Um, but there's nothing I can really do at this point. Um, I don't have a way to polish it myself. And honestly, I don't think it's a big enough deal for me to even bother with. Basically, this car, you know, I do take it to car shows and no one's ever said anything so I don't think anyone can really notice the small things like that. Basically that's why my car is essentially ruined because of the paintwork there. Um, in order to fix that they would have to go over the entire car because I'm sure that there's water spots in various different areas and honestly it's just not worth the expense for me. I just don't care enough about the paintwork like that for the minor things. Um, I do care about the larger things like the front bumper being all chipped up and scraped and everything. I do care about that, but um, I don't think it's enough to warrant buying a new bumper and repainting it and all that stuff and or just repainting that one in general. Like I don't think paintwork is really in my budget right now, so I mean it drives fine. It runs fine, so that's like the biggest thing for me. Um, but the paintwork, honestly, it, I wanted this car to be um, perfect all around or at least close to it but it's just getting beat up by the elements and it's kind of annoying but uh, it is what it is 
Um, the way that this happened, the way that these water spots developed, and this is kind of um, something that I learned, of course, after the fact, is that when you go through any kind of car wash or you wash it yourself, don't leave those water spots on your paint. I didn't think much about it when I was doing that, and obviously this is the end result, a bunch of little water spots all across the car. So uh, make sure that if you are washing your own car, that you dry it, um, because you don't want it to end up like this. Um, now, like I said, you won't really be able to tell unless you get up real close to the paint, but I know they're there, and if the light catches it just right, you'll be able to see it. So it is kind of annoying, um, but like I said, your average person won't be able to tell. That is pretty much what today's video is about. Um, it kind of sucks that I that I had to make a video about this because, you know, we're continuing to add parts to this car and modify it and all that, um, and uh, I'm really trying to make it like a good, a good image um, for this car and what it stands for. Um, like a good representation of what the Z car stands for, but I, I guess I'm just not that good with paint work <laughs> or like maintaining paint. That's like one of the, one of the, um, like things I'm not too familiar with. One of the subjects that I don't have much experience with and I've learned a lot to say the least on this and uh, hopefully for the next car that I have, I will do better. But as for this car, it is what it is. So, um, yeah, it just, it just, it sucks. Like, I know it may not seem like a big deal to you guys watching, but like for me, like it sucks because I, I was trying so hard to like keep the paint in good condition. And then I find that and it's like, oh, there is something else. So yeah, but um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, thanks for tuning in. As always, I've got a couple other videos I'm going to shoot while I'm out here today. Um, I made a whole list this time, so I have some other ideas that I want to tackle. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and um, let me know down below uh, if you have any suggestions for my paint. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one.